Hello world, this is What's Up 290, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use port forwarding on a, uh, if you're for a network that's based around the uh, uh, Airport Extreme Apple hardware. Now, port forwarding is basically what uh, um, what peer-to-peer uh, -peer applications need to communicate with each other, but some uh, can, um, routers block ports by default, at least some do. So I'm going to show you how to open ports on a Mac router. Now what you're going to want to do is click on Airport Extreme first, and uh, if you if that doesn't work, you might want to try clicking Airport Express. But most of the time, clicking Airport Extreme is best. It's this, which is the second one down. Sorry, I'm keeping this set. I'm keeping a picture over that because over the name because I don't want my router name showing on YouTube. So yeah. It's good. Click. It's the second one. Should be the second one down. And yeah, once you click, once you click on that, uh, there should be a, like a little window that pops up with like the network name and all the machines that are connected to it. Uh, you just click the little edit option, which will be in the lower right hand corner of that window. So once you get here, you don't. You click away from base station and you go to network. Now right here is the port setting. Port settings. This is what you want to. Do as you have see. I have one set up for tour, so uh, I'm just going to click on the plus sign to add a new um, to add a new service. So once you've done that, type the name of the service here. I'm just going to type test because it's just an example. And if and uh, if you know whether or not the program you're using uses UDP packets or TCP packets, uh, you fill in one of these. But if you don't know which one, it which whether it uses UDP or TCP packets, you can just fill in both of them. So, if you need two ports open, you should just type nine zero. If you need like two ports open, you just type one one number and then a comma and then the next number nine zero zero one some or stuff and stuff like that. So, sorry, I have that port open for Tor and. Uh, then you just type, then you know, just type in the port number of the application you're using in he here, and uh, I'm just using random numbers because I'm just showing an example. So yeah, you have to make sure that you get the port numbers exactly right, otherwise you're just wasting your time. Then. If you, you can also switch between IPv port mapping or IPv6 firewall entry. Port mapping will be the most likely one, at least for me anyway. Then click save and test. Now to actually start this new service, uh, you click update, which will actually enable the service. But to do this, you will ha the network will have to shut down for like two or three minutes. And I don't want to do that right now because there's other people in my house. They might be using the internet. So yeah, but once but you just click update, but you just click continue from here, and that'll shut the network down for like three minutes or so tops, and after that your service should be up and running. But I'm, but I'm just gonna click cancel for now because I don't want to shut my network down. But then to get rid of the service, you just click on the minus button and update it again. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is what's up two one nine zero, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hope. And uh, well, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video.